Hello and welcome to my first ever video with my brand new team. We are practicing with the OBPK Privateer team. Um, as you guys know, if you haven't watched my previous video, I'll link it at the end. I have decided to create a MX Bikes community team and uh, try and make some new friends. Oh, friend! Oh, new friend! Hey. Oh, friend! He's my friend! Oh, oh friend! Oh, friend! And uh, my idea with this is to bring everyone together, get better at the game, kind of get involved in fun races and, and come together. And the team's only been created for a couple of days. We've got about 30, 40 members in and we've already got guys out on the track, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'll be hosting some of these practice days uh, throughout the week and um, some fun races. We're going to look at doing pit bike championships and everything like that. And um, We've got some awesome stuff coming up. So I am currently using a custom skin made by our very James Petch, and he's going to make that for the entire team. So no matter what brand you ride, whether that be Husky, Kawi, Yamaha, whatever you ride, you will have a custom skin and kit for yourself and the team, which is awesome. And we've got so many cool ideas coming up. The Discord we got coming is so much better than the crap I put together. Uh, just everything about it is going to be amazing. We're going to have specialized team championships and uh, like Honda versus Kawasaki, all that good stuff. So I'm really looking forward to it. Everyone's been super positive. The response has been absolutely amazing. And um, we're only looking to grow from here. So if you do want to get involved and you do want to come be a part of the team, like a modern day MX Bikes Avenger, then then come get involved. Everyone and every everyone and anyone, get your words out, is welcome. And um, I'm really excited to see what we can do to develop this community. You don't have to be a pro rider, because as you guys know from watching my videos, I am not a pro rider. Um, but, you know, just come in, hang out, say hello, and, and see what we can do. So the, the plan for today is to do, how much longer have we got? About 15 minutes more practice. And uh, do a couple of motors, get together, see what we can do, and go from there. We've got one of our guys coming along here. He's got a custom Honda. Look how beautiful that is. One that Jamie's made from there. We're all going to have custom kits, so we're all going to look B E A beautiful together out on track, which would be amazing. And um, I'm just really impressed with how well you guys have responded already, considering. Oh, sorry! Sorry! Considering I released the video about the team only a matter of days ago, the fact that you guys have responded and already out on track with me already is, is fantastic. And I want to see a full gate eventually. I want you guys to be involved with everything. And um, we've got some really cool stuff coming up. So what we're going to do now is just watch these guys do a couple of whips, watch them mess about a little bit, do the mess around. Ah, mess around. They're doing the mess around. They're doing the mess around. Everybody's doing the mess around. And uh, then we'll get into a couple of motos and see how it goes. But yeah, oh God, that was... A God awful line. Um, I massively appreciate you guys' support. Really appreciate everything that's going on. The channel's growing well, and it is not about your subscribers or likes or anything like that. I want to bring you guys content you want to see. So if you have ideas, let me know because I am not a one man genius, although you may think it. And uh, if there's something you want to see, then, then let me know and I will facilitate that. Um, we've got a fast lap series coming out. We, we've got some cool things going on. My time may be limited, um, but I'm genuinely excited to be creating this content and it's not about anything regarding money or anything else like that. I just want to make cool videos, get better at editing, get better for you guys. So without further ado, let's watch some whipping. Where's the best place to sit? Should we sit here? Oh, I think we need to back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. We've got someone coming around here. That bloody tree is in the way. Get out of the way, tree. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, a little bit a little bit short on the land in there, son. Oh, and he's down. Unlucky. Oh, a little bit wide there, son. A little bit wide. Oh, that was awesome. That was that was cool. That was a 10 out of 10 right there. Oh, this man out here throwing backflip, showing us all up. Showing us all up. Look at that biscuit, the man. Nice. Very nice, young man. Very nice. Oh, God, I nearly fell out of my chair then, you silly boy. We've got uh, four people in, and um, I'm, I'm really happy with that, considering the Discord and the videos when he dropped uh, a few days ago. I, I am genuinely really happy with that. So um, let's hope we keep this building. Let's uh, let's get this community going. And I, I want to see, I've set a challenge you guys. 
join the Discord, like the video, subscribe, all that snazzy jazz. But I want to see a full gate in a few weeks. That is my goal, to see a full gate of people. That would be so cool. That would be awesome. Oh no, one of the guys did not start. I wonder if you'll put it in the chat. Are we going to get the holy? Yeah. These guys have been awesome. They've been, you know, everyone in the chat has been supportive. There's a few guys that, due to time zones, couldn't make it tonight. And um, it's still cool that the, the effort is there. This Saturday, this Saturday coming, I'll be hosting a pit bike race. I will link the pit bike uh, skins and mods, etc. in the in the chat below in the description as well as um, the discord for the new group and um, it's, it's truly humbling to see how many people have helped me out with this because I am a absolute monkey when it comes to discord and one of my friends just building me one as we speak and it looks awesome I've had a little sneak preview at it and um, we've got James Petch designing kits and skins for everyone I'm rocking the new KX250 skin here and um, I really am grateful towards those guys they've not asked for any money they've just said yeah we'll help out and um, that's cool, that's that's what this the whole thing is about, it's about bringing people together, helping each other out, get better. You know, I still am okay at the game, I'm average. Oh, Beach is gone, I hope you didn't have any problems. Um, and uh, hopefully we can, we can bring each other up together. These races and training sessions are simply about getting better, and that is it. I'm really starting to... Not that that looked clean at all. Really starting to feel more and more comfortable in this game. Like, is I remember when I first played, it was so daunting. It was like, oh god, to come from MXGP and MX versus ATV to this was was just nuts. Um, it just felt like a whole other world. And uh, my friends who got me into this game, I, I played Sim for years. So it wasn't, you know, like a, a huge, massive change to them because they they were good at simulators already. Whereas I was the kind of like, oh. Uh, how am I falling off so easily and how do I, t I couldn't even really turn the corner um, so to see the progression is, is pretty damn cool and hopefully you guys will see that in your riding as well obviously everyone's different with skills and, and time frames and how quickly they learn but this was a whole new experience to me, I grew up as a fan of the sport um, and I'd done minimal riding myself but it took me time to really pick up the nuance of the game and, and I really feel like I'm starting to get okay at the game now, I feel like I'm a, a half decent rider. Eventually, once I start getting more and more comfortable with outdoors and not absolutely sending it like a moopet, um, I will venture forth into Supercross, but at the moment I still feel like I'm only just about finding my feet within the motocross world of things and, and I kind of want to keep that up. Like it's started to get to the point where I can ride and talk pretty well and that has been difficult. I definitely think eventually I will do a couple of where I'm racing, racing, um, commentate over the race. I think that could be a good way of doing it because then it will give me total focus on the racing itself and it's so easy to lose that focus um, because you're trying to articulate a point and at the same time you end up tripping over your words because you're trying to articulate that point and focus and you're like, oh, I need to be in third here, sit down, stand up for this, make sure your throttle control's good, line up for this corner, and then you're trying to go deep dive on someone's ass and, and explain who you are as a person, and that is, uh, that is difficult. My little brain can't handle all of it. Good multitasking training. I'm quite excited to start the fast lap series soon, so... Basically what I'll be doing is um, going on all the tracks that I'm most comfortable with and trying to set my personal fastest lap time. So I'm not going to show you like the laps leading into that. I'll show you a couple of bloopers and, and some cool lines and then the actual lap itself. Um, and it's not like, oh, I missed a Bertie Big Spuds, look at my lap times because they're nothing fantastic. It's more of a, this is where I'm currently at as a rider. Here's my benchmark and revisit those lap times in a few months and see if we can better those lap times because ultimately I know competition is, is about winning and everything but a lot of people get mixed up in trying to be better than someone else and 
like my main philosophy is trying to be better than myself every single day and that's, that's kind of the the approach to the series i'll start adding it to a playlist and then similarly if you guys are quite a bit quicker than me give me some tips for like hey man you could take the inside here take the outside there and, and similarly uh if you're subsequently slower than me you'll be able to pick up on lines as well so i think i'm somewhere in the middle right now i don't think i'm very fast i don't think i'm slow and uh, hopefully that'll kind of reach a bit of everything that people can either give tips or they can see tips and be like, ah, this is where I, I can pick up lines. Just the other day I was in a public lobby on Maryland and I saw someone doing inside to inside and I looked at my uh, Max HUD and was like, oh, I'll, I'll do the inside to inside and it saved me like 0.8 of a second and I set my best laps I've ever set then. I was like, ah, oh, so that's just a little bit more entry speed into this, a little bit more entry speed out to that. And uh, that's how those lap times slowly fall and fall and fall. And then once you hit those quick lap times, the real task is being consistent over a number of period of time. And then, then you've got to think about avoiding people and all that jazz. So, you know, there is a. It's great to see progression in the game, and it's it's one of those games that you kind of want to bang your head against the wall a little bit because it is a great racing simulator, but it's difficult. But that's that's the beauty of the game and being difficult. Feeling good though, feeling good today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feeling good on a Monday. Made me think of Lord. Not Lord, Lord, South Park Lord. I'm talking Randy Lord. Ah, oh, Beach must be having connection problems. Maybe he'll be around for. Oh dear. Maybe he'll be around for Moto too. But yeah, I. if you guys want to join, get involved and. and oh. Biscuit, you naughty man. What have you been doing? Um, if you guys want to get involved, then then you're more than welcome to do that. I, I really want you guys to reach out. And I'm not looking for guys that are just going to, you know, troll and, and cut the track. And this is all about... Like, when I was riding with my friends, I was, like, I was watching them how to get better. And we would ride together. And that progressed me along because I had something kind of to chase. When you're riding on your own, you've kind of got no yardstick to measure against. So it's nice to be like oh these guys are quicker than me these guys are slower than me uh how are they how are they hitting this and the, the discord will really kind of bring that all together so we're gonna invite people in and share hints and tips we'll have loads of different channels and eventually i'll be looking for people that i trust to, to help me run it because uh with my schedule being what it is I, I can't always be there so i'll be looking for a few key people to help out with that and uh really bring the mx bikes community together once we get to a thousand subs, I'm thinking of live streaming as well. So if you do want to see a live stream, once we get to a thousand subs, I might invest in a webcam and then you guys can see my ugly mug and I'll finally get a proper face reveal. And, um, you know, we can we can hang out, start to start to build this community up a little bit. There are some great content creators already within MX Bikes, um, but I'm trying not to watch their content, which sounds counterproductive, I know. Ah, okay, he's got to go. No worries. It's all good. And um, because I, I want to create my own content, I want to be unique and, um, you know, kind of kind of do my own thing. So although I know there's some fantastic guys out there and stuff, I kind of want to avoid their content because I, I want to make my own, which sounds counterproductive, I know, but I don't want to copy anyone's stuff. And I kind of be unique within this, this niche little field. Eventually, maybe we'll even consider... Um, branching out to other motocross games you know if you guys want to see that then i i would love to bang in the old mx vs atv oh which one is it i think it's untamed is my favorite so you've got like mx vs atv whatever the first one was unleashed untamed reflex and then is it alive oh god i can't remember it's been so long but we, we could definitely fire up one of those games everyone loves a bit of reflex so you know i'm more than happy to to mess about with that if you guys want to see it we'll have like a dedicated reflex playlist and stuff and, and revisit some of the old days i remember as a kid downloading the demo for reflex and being so blown away by the track deform i think we must have done a thousand laps on the practice track and the dual stick scene was next level if you look at it now it's, it's obviously old and outdated but uh, yeah it's uh it's a game i would like to revisit and we <laughs> similarly uh, i think it was untamed we used to do uh, Excel spreadsheet championships and then we figured out if you kept the AI the same difficulty 
and just changed the track. The AI stayed the same. So like the, the name of the riders, you'd have like Mills Out, Filippo, um, all those guys in there. So what we would do is make a 12 round championship and then put our names into the table and then gather all the names up and change the track and we'd record like 20, oh no. That was going to be a good lap. 25 points to the winner, like 20 points to this, 20 points to that. And um, yeah, it was it was awesome fun back in the day. We started doing it with MXGP as well, like in the online stuff, because there was no online championship. So we had to kind of formulate our own Excel spreadsheet thing, which luckily they've got um, my MXB on here for counting a proper championship. So, you know, it's a little bit more sophisticated than breaking out the Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> I fondly remember when my friends wasn't very good at the game at the time and you put in you put in some serious practice. It was really cool to see. And we were on this foresty track. I forget the name of it. I'll have to write it again. I, I forget. It was over 10 years ago. And he finally got his first podium and everyone was like, yeah, I'm so happy for you. And I accidentally pressed A and it went to the next menu and the results didn't save. And he was, oh, I still bring it up to this day. It's like 10, 12 years ago and he still brings it up to this day. Just, devastated and uh, there was this cool little pit bike track on there that uh, had like a mini supercross pit bike style thing and uh, we set the world record on there just because we had so many laps in there that no one could get close to that lap time and it was uh, yeah it was cool these tiny little 50cc things saying that we also have uh, a pit bike race coming up this weekend so if you guys are interested in doing a pit bike race then please let me know and uh, the best way to do that is join the Discord and the, the stuff will be there for you. This race is coming to a close. Let's see if we can get some more people on the... Oh my gosh! On the gate next time. Next Wednesday I'll be hosting another one. Let's see if we can get at least six or seven people on this gate. Not this track, we'll be doing another track, obviously. Um, but let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get some more people on there. It's funny, when you get into a tangent of talking, because I have not stopped for the last 10 minutes, um, you don't put in your best riding at all. This is like very subpar riding. It'll be interesting when I do the fast lap series, because um, that will just be me doing an introduction like a couple of couple of bits here and there and then maybe i'll do it common i didn't have to commentate over it or do it raw i think it'd be good just to do raw to be honest uh and um god i've lost my train of thought already do it raw and then uh and then you guys can see if you like that maybe commentate over it a little bit but the videos won't be very long they'll be literally like a couple of minutes long um but i think that'd be a cool little series it's something i've played about with for a while and um, it just adds a little bit of something different. You can see see the progression at a later date. All right, I might I might focus in a second and see if I can put in one more quick lap. So we can get to that 152, 151. Biscuit, what are you doing, boy? I have to smack his ass. Oh, white flag already, that's great. I feel like 10 minutes is the, the perfect perfect amount of time like or, or 15 minutes i don't like going to public lobbies and there's only five laps like it's great for training sprint speed or whatever but i feel like i do my best work around lap four or five and then it's too late sounds like more my problem than the lobby's problem but it'd be good to see a few more lobbies that did longer races wasn't the best line ever. I dragged the wheel a little bit there. I don't know what the fast guys are doing on 250s here. I know they're in the 140s, but I don't know how how low or high they're in the 140s still. I definitely feel quicker. Whenever I feel like I can't go any quicker, there's always a way you can drop another second.
No, come on, short. Ah, oh, I just lost all that time. Just second up then. That would have been in the 152s. Unfortunate, unfortunate. It's amazing how, how quickly you can lose a second. That one mistake cost me a second. That inside's quicker, that's just saved me half a second. Alright, we'll end it there. I won't bother uploading Moto2 because it's only me and the old Bisqui. But I massively appreciate you guys. If you want to get involved, link to the team video just above your head, Discord, and everything else below in the description. If you liked it, if you've made it this far, comment saying you made it this far because that means the world to me when you get all the way through. That is really cool. Um, thank you guys again. Like, subscribe, all that snazzy jazz. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. P -p -p Peace.